Earth is divided into 24 time zones, but if you've ever looked at a world map, you know they're anything but straight. To understand why, we start at the prime meridian in Greenwich, the birthplace of UTC plus zero, coordinated universal time. Move east and the hours increase. Move west and they decrease. That's why being in Los Angeles places you at UTC minus eight. Simple, right? Well, not exactly. If time zones were perfectly straight, major cities would be split in half. Take Phoenix. One side would live in UTC minus seven and the other in UTC minus eight. A full hour of difference just by driving down the street. Imagine the confusion for schools, businesses, or simply trying to meet a friend. So the world adapted. Time zone boundaries were bent and curved to follow borders, states, and regions, creating a map that looks more like a puzzle than a grid. And here's a twist most people don't expect. The country with the most time zones isn't Russia, it's France, stretching across 12 time zones thanks to its overseas territories. Meanwhile, China, a nation large enough to naturally span five, chose to use only one. The result? In Western cities like Kashgar, the clock may say 10 a.m., but the sun might not rise for hours. Time zones may look strange, but every twist and curve exists to keep life running smoothly on a very uneven.